Before starting the photosystems, that is PS1 and PS2, let us understand <coughs> what is a quantosome. Quantosome is actually a collection of pigment molecules. which help in the process of photosynthesis. In photosynthesis. We can also call it a collection of just pigments which are responsible for this photosynthetic process. Now, when we are talking of this quantosome or photosynthetic unit, photosynthetic unit, this unit has one chlorophyll main that is chlorophyll A and around it there are many other pigments which we call the accessory pigments. These accessory pigments can be keratinoids, other type of chlorophylls that is chlorophyll B, C, D, E or any other pigment. So this main uh, pigment which is chlorophyll A, this is the reaction center chlorophyll and all other pigments they are called accessory pigments. This collection, this whole thing is also termed as antenna complex. Now here we need to understand one more important thing that when light falls on all these pigments, when sunlight falls here, we know that different pigments absorb different wavelengths and this light which is absorbed is in the form of photons. So photons are absorbed. Depending upon their capacity to absorb wavelength, all these particles, pigments, they will absorb photons. Say this pigment, it is going to absorb some photons and pass on that energy to the next. From here it will be passed on to the main chlorophyll. Similarly, this pigment will pass on the photons to the next and then to chlorophyll. Ultimately, the complete energy will be passed on to chlorophyll A molecule and this is where the reaction is going to start. And that is why we are calling this reaction center chlorophyll. So now we know what is the significance of all these accessory pigments which we talked of. We talked of various types of chlorophylls. We talked of keratinoids. We talked of xanthophyll, phycobilins, all those things. So these pigments, depending upon their nature, they absorb various wavelengths. That a photon which they absorb is passed on to the reaction center chlorophyll and reaction is going to start from here and that is why all other pigments are known as accessory or helping pigments. If chlorophyll A is isolated, chlorophyll A is separated and then light energy is uh, allowed to fall on this a chlorophyll molecule or if chlorophyll molecule chlorophyll a molecule absorbs those photons independently then what is going to happen and we are talking about this in an isolated system that means we have extracted chlorophyll a molecule what happens outside the body or outside the cell and this is what is going to happen inside the cell let us see what happens here when chlorophyll A gains sufficient photons, then a pair of electrons would get excited because of that extra energy which chlorophyll A has received. Now, when this electron gets excited, it leaves the energy shell and it comes out of the shell. If it is happening in the living system, that is in the cell, here when the electron gets ex uh, excited, there is going to be a receptor which is going to receive these electrons. In an experimental condition, if we are doing it in a test tube, then there is no electron acceptor. 
these electrons they would come back to their normal energy level so from lower energy level the electron has reached two electrons they have reached to higher level and as they have a tendency to come back to their normal energy level they would tend to come back here but during this time they are going to emit that extra energy because of which they left the chlorophyll molecule and that wavelength would be seen in form of some other color so this wavelength would be emitted this process is known as fluorescence but this is seen only in experimental condition one a quick recap of this what exactly is present in the thylakoids is this system where there is a reaction center chlorophyll which is surrounded by accessory pigments job of accessory pigment is to absorb various wavelengths and pass on those photons to the main chlorophyll if main chlorophyll gets sufficient energy a pair of electrons would leave that chlorophyll and in the living system there is an acceptor which is going to accept but if we extract this chlorophyll in a test tube and then expose it to sunlight it still absorbs those photons and say a pair of electron would get excited as in the artificial medium or ex experimental condition there is no electron acceptor here so this electron would tend to come back to its normal energy level and while returning it is going to emit that particular wavelength here and depending upon whatever wavelength is emitted that color would be seen when we expose chlorophyll to sunlight in a test tube this process is known as <coughs> fluorescence but it is seen only <coughs> sorry in experimental conditions now let us talk about the photosystems that is photosystem 1 and 2 now we have understood what a chondrosome is uh, like what is uh, the structure and how chlorophyll molecule behaves so now let us talk about ps1 that is photo system 1 and we will also talk of ps2 that is photo system 2 in every photosystem there is going to be this chlorophyll a which we call the reaction center chlorophyll and surrounding this reaction center chlorophyll are going to be the accessory pigments so it is basically that chondrosome that we are talking about or the photosynthetic unit this is ps1 and in ps1 chlorophyll a which is the reaction center chlorophyll absorbs 700 nanometers this is very very important because this is the only difference between photosystem 1 and photosystem 2 both have reaction center chlorophyll a but one absorbs 700 and here it's going to absorb a different number or different wavelength when sunlight falls on these pigments as we have discussed all pigments are going to absorb photons and those photons will be passed on to the reaction center chlorophyll once the reaction center chlorophyll absorbs sufficient energy then a pair of electron would get excited and this pair of electron would be accepted by an electron acceptor because this is the first electron acceptor it is known as primary electron acceptor this entire unit is known as photosystem so what all things are there in a photosystem we have antenna 
complex. This antenna complex is made up of two things. The reaction center chlorophyll A and accessory pigments. Plus, there is this primary electron acceptor also. This complete unit is known as photosystem 1. In photosystem 1, the reaction center chlorophyll is always A and it absorbs 700 nanometers. Let us draw PS2 now. Same thing, it also has a reaction center chlorophyll A. So, reaction center chlorophyll is always chlorophyll A. It is also surrounded by same accessory pigments. And these accessory pigments also have the same job. That means they would absorb photons and pass on to the male chlorophyll. So this chlorophyll receives photons from all accessory pigments. Once, so sunlight falls on this also. And once it has received sufficient energy, same. A pair of electrons gets excited. And here also there is this primary electron acceptor. So this is PS2. PS2. Here also the reaction center chlorophyll is chlorophyll A. This is reaction center chlorophyll. And it absorbs 680 nanometers. So chlorophyll A in both the situation is reaction center chlorophyll. But the difference is the wavelength which it absorbs. In case of PS1, it absorbs 700 nanometers. And in case of this, that is PS2, it absorbs 680 nanometers. So, many a times we simply write it as PS1, PS2. Sometimes it can also be written as simple P and 700. P is for photosystem and 700 is the wavelength which we are talking about. Here it can be written as P680. So, meaning is same whether we write PS1 or PS2 or P700 and P680. These two are the photosystems PS1 and 2. The difference between the two is only one that in one PS1 the wavelength which is absorbed by the reaction center chlorophyll is 700 nanometers and in case of two the wavelength absorbed is 680 nanometers. So now whenever photosynthesis starts it is going to start with chlorophyll A whether it is PS1 or PS2. And this conclusion that there are two photosystems that exist was, uh, uh, was given by Emerson after the experiment when he exposed the plants to two different wavelengths and the rate of photosynthesis was enhanced. So now after understanding this, we will start with the actual process of photosynthesis.